everyone. Uh, we uh, welcome to South Korea, even though that we are connected with uh, in a virtual spaces. Uh, we today uh, we would you like to introduce you know, some social enterprises in South Korea, including me. And I would like to introduce you know, myself the first to the worldwide audiences as AWF. And my name is Jay Park, as I mentioned. And I started my businesses uh, six years ago in Uganda in a different uh, situation. But now we are working in South Korea and Uganda together. And my business is about the, when the people buying the one bag, one bag should be donated in Uganda. We started our businesses in Uganda for supporting the Uganda children uh, six years before. And we have uh, many different like uh, social enterprises in South Korea. And we invited we invited two other uh, very good the CEO of the social enterprises. So we today we are talking about the, how they are managing their businesses. Yeah, could you say hello to everyone, uh, Mr. Kim, the first? Yes. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Sam, and I'm CEO of Overflow Biz Incorporated. Uh, we have been developing and distributing us. Uh, assistive technology products and solutions especially for the uh, visually impaired uh, such as a uh, braille writing tools and reading tools and uh, you know low vision solutions yeah that kind of so okay. and we uh, actually we are distributing this kind of solutions all around the uh, world. So technology based is a startup. That's isn't it? right. Yeah. So when did you start your business the first? Uh, actually, Overflow is established in 2017. Okay. But I have got uh, a lot of uh, work experience okay. in this same uh, industry. Okay. So for over 14 years. Wow, 14 yeah. years yes. in total. Wow, great. Yeah. So could you uh, introduce yourself? Yeah. Yeah, hi JY and <laughs> hi everyone. I'm Kyung Jae Lee uh, of Sewing for the Soil that uh, designed eco-friendly fashion items and cultures uh, to motto uh, my company motto is uh, everyone wears eco-friendly fashion. Great, so how long have you been working for your companies? How is it? Ten years. When did you start to do your businesses? Uh, I started uh, eco-friendly fashion items at 2005. 2005. Yeah. Wow, it's yeah. pretty long history so you have. Yeah. yeah wow. Right. Yeah. So now we're starting our free talking about the social enterprise. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> wrong pipe. Uh, about the South Koreans. In South Korea, there are many new social entrepreneurs and. And very good players is working together in you know, one uh, ecosystem in South Korea. So today we are talking about that, such and how we work in a social enterprise in South Korea, and what is the plan and difficulties. So I would like to ask the, the first questions. What was the biggest challenges in starting the, your businesses? Could you say about that, Mr. Kim, the first thing? All uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah. The biggest challenge is <laughs> yeah. yes. I oh, I started uh, when I started Overflow. Mm -hmm. You know, it was not a social enterprise, but the purpose of our business, our mission, was not different from uh, the one of social enterprise. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but we have a, a you know what what was the biggest challenge. Yeah. I would say that uh, we uh, had been developing, finishing our first product. Mm. It uh, it was very really really hard, mm. and it it had been t uh, taken two and a half years mm. because we had to, you know, make it uh, very simple. And uh, this. This, this, is device, yeah. Your, your this is the device. This is the first of uh, our product. Mm -hmm. uh, we call wow. Versa Slate. Uh, it is a paperless and erasable, mm -hmm. very mechanical device. Very sustainable. Look, sounds like that's right. Yeah, and but it should be able to be used in extreme conditions mm. like uh, very hot and cold weather mm. and 
no electricity power supply mm. and no paper to uh, write a braille, something like that. So mm. we had to make it, you know, very simple and at the same time reliable. Mm. So uh, yeah, it was it was really hard. Be, uh, biggest challenge is that complete this uh, first product development. So is that the finished product you have? Yes. So the uh, the people can use it. Yes, we ship these uh, products all over around the world wow. at the moment. Wow. Yeah. What is the audience, uh, the customers' reactions about the product? It was fantastic. Okay. That's we, Wonderful. Uh, yeah, more than we expected. Okay. <laughs> so is that the production is in Korea or? Korea. Okay. At the moment, so yeah. That's great. <laughs> okay. So, okay. I will tell about my uh, challenges when I started my business six years before because we started our business in different culture, in different area mm -hmm. in East Africa and Uganda. Mm -hmm. So when I started my business, I didn't have any experience about how the, I could have started my businesses. Mm -hmm. But uh, the second uh, the obstacle is it was a different culture. So that's why I needed to build up all the things from the bottom up. Yeah. So all, all things are my very stressed. <laughs> but but I just believe that if I'm making the just good product with the uh, Ugandan people, mm -hmm. maybe customers will buy. Yeah. Would you buy the, our products? That's right. I've, yeah. At the first, I I was very childish. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I didn't expect it such a difficulty at the beginning. Yeah, right. That's why I could start in my business the right. first. Okay, that's that's that's, that's, that's right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, would be, it would be the same the other entrepreneurs. Yeah. So, how, could you say about the, what are the most difficult things when you started your business? I think uh, every day. That's right. And especially in this year, this year. is oh, yeah. the best difficult mm. uh, season. Mm -hmm. uh, the COVID-19, yes. yeah. yeah, because uh, our business is eco wedding part mm. and eco uniform part, mm. and unfortunately, uh, COVID after COVID-19, mm -hmm. uh, many Korean brides and grooms uh, couldn't get married mm. in Korea. True. So that means my business <laughs> <laughs> is True. same. I heard about that so many kind of the educational and services like the people had to get in to, to the services. It really hard after the COVID-19 happened. Mm -hmm. so I, I heard about that your business was she was a symbol of the such an eco-friendly wedding and eco-friendly products and mm -hmm. she was kind of the symbol of the searcher businesses because oh, she yeah. have an experience 10 years ago and so do you have any plan how can you get over this echo uh, pandemic uh, COVID-19 problems do you have any plans about it uh, yeah uh, uh, from uh, I preparing uh, eco-friendly uniform business mm -hmm. I preparing the eco friendly uniform business uh, that um, I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, no problems. You can just say to the freely talking in South Korean because we also have a language barriers. So yeah. <laughs> so just free thank talking to it. Yeah, we can thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm not good at in English. <laughs> so we're the uh, same. Yeah. Uh, I. Uh, Last year, and the end of the last year, mm -hmm. I preparing the new business of mm -hmm. uh, eco-friendly and antibiotic mm -hmm. uniform for mm -hmm. hospital or uh, business section. Uh, so, so we will launch mm -hmm. in this ac October okay. the for overseas market. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you prepared uh, such a different yeah. like a uh, situation before it happened so you just uh, antibiotic materials are even interested in it and then this is kind of a, you of uh, founding a blue ocean to come fight with it the COVID-19 yeah. uh, that is a very wonderful and do you have any uh, how, I would you like to ask the, the Mr. Kim the Sam the second questions about how could you 
how could you turn up these difficulties to your difficulties? Yeah. Yes, uh, I think that you know, since we launched our first product, mm -hmm. then it turns out you know our business. Yeah. So during the during the a uh, mentoring service mm -hmm. from a certain excel accelerating uh, supporting uh, organization, I was introduced to a great hardware engineer mm -hmm. that make this product happen. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, when I, wa when, I was, uh, when I was meeting that kind of uh, obstacles, yeah. I really tried to, you know, find okay. some good right person to make it right, make okay. it happen okay. to re uh, release I to see. the world. I see. But it was failed. Okay. Oh, but I during see. the mentoring service from, you know, the, the, that kind of uh, organization, okay. I was introduced to a great hardware uh, oh, engineer. Okay. So uh, he is still working for our company. Oh, I understand. Yeah, that person finished oh, finally finished this product because yeah. it is really really innovative way uh, the in infrastructure here yeah so you met the right person you've been waiting for that's right so that, that, that's, that, that, that was the thing that was the thing that to do doing own businesses because you know human always like the making things happen or right. also it make it a difficult yeah. well. <laughs> okay <laughs> So we also wanted to think about the different uh, saying. Uh, what was the most difficult difficulties as a foreign interpreter in Uganda? Uh, yeah, th I think that is uh, my uh, questions about it. And I will ask about what was the most difficulties as a foreign entrepreneur in Uganda? Yes, uh, the first of all, I didn't have any no about the process. process. Mm -hmm. Of course, the language also the barriers, That's right, yeah. but I couldn't understand the culture the first mm -hmm. because uh, the culture in Uganda, the third world economies have really different uh, industrial systems. Mm -hmm. So try to understand the systems how they can making the 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 products in the local conditions in in Uganda mm -hmm. is actually totally different in South Korea. So try to understand and try to finding a design uh, to fit on the local uh, mm -hmm. uh, environment. That was the most difficult part that I have mm -hmm. when I started my businesses. Uh, uh, but uh, I will ask you about uh, some you because your business is related to the, about the technology, yes, especially technology, making yeah. process or the user's process as well. So how do you, you use uh, such a technology things in your businesses? Oh, uh, actually, you know, the, we are uh, developing a, a, you know, digital magnifier solutions for the mm -hmm. low vision at the moment. You know, the, the visually impaired, especially the low vision, they generally, uh, you know, needs to have or needs to use video magnifier to access documents, mm. inf uh, printed information, mm. and blackboard and such a things. Mm. But the, there, there's a lot of, you know, plenty of uh, assistive devices. I see. But it is really, really, uh, you know, expensive, mm. and it's not, you know, easy to, you know, mm. get uh, distributed mm. because that's why the government ah, is running the kind of I subsidy see. program. I see. So, the key concept of our uh, technology uh, okay. is that you know the turns. The user's devices, smart devices mm -hmm. like such as a uh, you know smartphone, uh, tablets, mm -hmm. iPads, into the uh, powerful mm -hmm. video magnifier itself. I see. Not specific device, mm -hmm. another additional device. I see. So you are wanted to making uh, some reasonable price to the users can use easily to access to your products. Yes, that is actually a good point. I That's think right, uh, yeah, really. Yeah. So. Uh, we wanted to thinking about the general like issues of uh, South Korean as well. Mm -hmm. So social enterprise in South Koreans. What do you think about the, the what was the hottest 
issues in South Korean uh, among the South Korean social enterprise. Uh, could you could I ask that to the Kyungjae Lee? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, I think this COVID nineteen mm. season, the coronavirus related to the global mm. environmental mm. pollution right. issues. True. True. So everyone focused on the uh, do everyone do our best as our roles mm -hmm. and, and focused on the global environmental issues. Mm, I yeah. see that. I also real I can realize that uh, these days are some such after the COVID nineteen. COVID-19 changes everything at, right. all over the world, mm -hmm. and especially after that COVID-19, also so many people are started thinking about the, the, uh, the ecosystems That's right, yeah. and the Earth's environmental issues. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think that these days are also, that's why ecosystems related to social enterprises is like a very, very kind of hottest issues mm -hmm. as well. So that's why I think that your business is really, really promising in South Korea. <laughs> and also it can be a work and internationally as well, globally, globally as well. Wow. So what's kind uh, of the opportunity for your yeah. business as well? Yeah. I think that I'm thinking that such an environmental issues or health care uh, there are two things are kind of one of the key issues uh, that people got interesting about they talked about and they wanted to do something plans in their mind mm -hmm. so, uh, so you said about that uh, you, you are you saying that you are a social venture or a social enterprise certified by the government or what, what is your condition now yes uh, some of our products are certified mm. uh, by the government mm. uh, regulation certification mm -hmm. system as well. So, uh, you know, the, the visually impaired uh, worker, they, uh, if they want, if they need any additional, uh, any assistive technology products, mm. then they can, you know, apply. You know, they can submit an application for uh, this or that device I need mm. for our uh, works. Mm. Then the government, you know, government agency, they can buy uh, the, that kind of products from us or other suppliers then can distribute them to the worker as well. So the, you got kind of the supporting from the government system when you're making the, your products. Is it right? Yes. So that you are, are you saying that you are the social venture or the social uh, certification you got uh, from the government? Yes. Which levels? Uh, pre. The pre level. Yeah, pre level. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, because we have uh, some of like uh, certification uh, policies by the governments and some of the, the social enterprise, it should be supported by the governments it needed. So we ask them to, uh, we ask the governments to get certified our businesses that's yeah right, that yeah. is a systemic uh, working that's so right, yeah. uh, how about you do you I, I know that you've already finished uh, yeah. yours <laughs> that you gathered all like uh, some certified uh, social enterprise in South Korea and then how how, how was it feel that when you do that such a certification uh, uh, processes when you is it hard to managing that to such a thing uh, or it is hard to get the, such a certified uh, certified uh, what was that uh, policies yeah. processes how, could you explain a little bit about the, how much difficult it about the, to get a certification from the government yeah oh, I, I think we have to study of the law <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that's only the way uh, to okay. Yeah. How about the paperwork? <laughs> Are there many <laughs> paperwork? Because yeah. well, I, I, we also the certified uh, companies by the government. Yeah. All right. so, but we need to prove that what kind of the social impact we are making in continuously right. yeah, because yeah. that's why the government certified our business and, and got us right, some yeah. sponsorships from the government. Mm -hmm. So we have to keep making that also the generating the the many issues. At the same time, we need to also prove that what kind of like a social, socially impacted 
uh, things that we need to prove and That's make. Right, the, sometimes yeah. we it's sometimes it's hard to make the paperwork, mm -hmm. but it is the most difficult thing. But it should be more very important thing that as That's a social right. enterprises right. in South yeah. Korean. Yeah. So let's th think about it. Others. Uh, so how do you think about the social enterprise environment in South Korea? Because in many cases we learn about the other foreign cases like. Uh, uh, for us, the social enterprise is not a, like a long history, mm -hmm. but now there's pretty, uh, really young entrepreneurs, young startups wanted to be one of the social enterprises. Yeah, so right. what are you thinking about that uh, social enterprise ecosystems in South Korea? But, uh, I've, you know, I didn't learn mm. a lot of, you know, from uh, overseas cases, but uh, in our case in Korea, uh, the. Korean government has a great will, you know, mm. to you know the support True. and True. you know scale up the True. kind of the social ecosystem. Mm. So there are lots of supporting uh, programs mm. to accelerate and mentor some sort of services. Oh, I think true. that yeah, that those kind so of so you are pretty new. Uh, you got into the social ecosystem, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. In the case of the Gyeong Jeli, she even also finish off the all the all process, right, yeah. and now <laughs> you're the free. But I'm in the middle. Yeah. So that's why that you're new, and I'm in the middle, and the, the finish it. Yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted to. We have a just almost a times up today's session. Mm -hmm. So just can uh, we would you like to? Uh, ask you about that. Uh, could you give us the, such a some comment about that? What is your uh, opinion about social enterprise in South Korea? Is generally it's okay. Yeah. So please give us. Uh, I think I'd like to you know the uh, encourage mm. those people you know who uh, works in in this environment industry because we need to you know as you said prove social impact and and get a uh, profit as well at the same time so this is very hardest things i think so keep up the good work and your from through your efforts then the world is getting better i mm, think yeah I that's, not, <laughs> that's my okay last how about again Lee? could you uh, want to say something about the social enterprises or feeling or comments any comment please <laughs> oh. I mm, many government section and uh, uh, what are it, urban section general no. section uh, general, general business government section. section and mm. general section we help we help mm. to uh, social enterprise okay so, uh, I want to say cheer up our mm. social section True. fellows. I see, yeah. I see. I'm the same. I'm the same. Uh, I would like to say uh, the goodbye today. Today, I really appreciate about that. Uh, to the World Together Foundation, they made uh, such a great chance for us to introducing our business to the worldwide audiences. Thank you very much. We would you like to see you again in some other places. Could you give us the like? Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Thank, Thank you. you.